Welcome to the channel Science Intellectual. In this video, we are discussing section 15, 16 and 17 under Indian Patents Act 1970. These sections come under chapter 4, Publication and Examination of Applications. We will be discussing the relevant rules as well. First, let's come to section 15, Power of Controller to Refuse or require amended application etc in certain case if any application or any specification or any other document does not comply with the requirement of the act or any rules before the acceptance of the complete specification that is before granting the controller may refuse the application or may ask for amendment that is change required to comply with the requirement under the act if that amendment has been done and the controller is satisfied then it will be proceeded towards grant and if there is no amendment then the controller may refuse the application on failure to do so if the requirement of the act and rules are not complied with the application is refused by the controller and the decision by the controller as it is refused that will be communicated in speaking order now let's discuss section 60 a very important chapter under Indian Patents Act it says about power of controller to make orders respecting division of application subsection 1 who can apply in divisional application an applicant if he desires or with a view to quick fix the objection raised by the controller that is either applicant voluntarily wants to change or wants to file division of application or the controller has raised an objection in view of that the applicant may file division of application or it is known as further application in respect of the invention already disclosed in the specification provisional or complete filed in respect of first mention application this first mention application is the parent application and out of that divisional will be filed by the applicant when it can be filed any time before grant of patent in what respect if the applicant desires or objection has been raised by the controller that claims of the complete specification relates to more than one invention as we all know one patent is for one invention if any application includes more than one invention then the controller may ask to divide it and then file divisional application divisional application is filed when the parent application that is the first filing application lacks unity of invention that is one patent application can be filed for one invention only section 16 subsection 2 further application that is the divisional application it is accompanied by the complete specification but it will not include any matter that has not been disclosed in the parent application or the first mentioned application that is no new matter can be included in the divisional application whatever subject matter has already been disclosed in the complete specification of parent or first filed application on that basis divisional application should be filed no new subject matter can be included then Subsection 3. The controller may require such amendment of complete specification filed either the parent or the divisional as may be necessary to ensure that neither of them includes same or duplicate claims. That is, parent application and the divisional application will have same subject matter but claims will be different for them. 
The relevant rule is rule 24B14. So the divisional application and its accompanying complete specification shall be deemed to have been filed on the date on which the first or the parent application has been filed. So divisional application will have the date of filing as same as the parent application. The divisional application shall be proceeded with as a substantive application that is a separate application will be examined when the request for examination is filed within prescribed period. Now what is the prescribed period? The request for examination for application in case of divisional application it is to be made within 48 months from the date of filing or the date of priority of the parent application or within six months from the date of filing of the divisional application whichever comes later. The relevant rule is rule 24B14. In case of divisional application some points can be remembered. For power of attorney filing if it is filed with the first mentioned application that is the parent application then a copy of the same is not required to be filed again in case of divisional application. If it is not filed then a fresh PO is to be filed in case of divisional application. Proof of right if the applicant has submitted the proof of right with the first mentioned application then it is not required to file again in case of divisional application. Examination it is always done vis-a-vis -vis the first mentioned or the parent application. If two or more divisional applications are filed based on first mentioned application, examination of the second or the subsequent divisional application shall be done vis-a-vis -vis the first mentioned or the parent application and other divisional application examined earlier to avoid double patenting. Date of filing in case of divisional application will be as same as that of the first mentioned application from which the application has been divided. Term of patent will be 20 years from the date of filing of the parent or the first mentioned application or in case of PCT it is the date of international filing date. Claims shall be based on the claims of first mentioned or the parent application from which instant application is divided and no addition of claims which do not fall within the scope of the claims is allowable. That is claims should be falling under the scope of the subject matter which has been disclosed in the first mentioned application. In case of priority, divisional application is treated as substantive application. Accorded the date of filing as the first mentioned application but application number will be different. Claims of divisional application will have same priority date as that mentioned in the first mentioned application. Now divisional application is treated as substantive application. Why it is so? Because it needs separate fees to pay separate request for examination requires to be made, it can be prosecuted separately and it may result an independent patent. So it is completely a different patent. The divisional application shall be filed at the appropriate office of the first mentioned application only. It is written in rule 4. Reference the complete specification accompanying the divisional application shall contain specific reference to the original or the parent application from which the divisional application has been made. The rule is rule 13.2 and fee it is to be payable as per schedule. Now let's come to section 17 power of controller to make orders respecting dating of application. Subsection 1. 
subject to the provision of section 9 at any time after filing the application and before the grant that is after filing and before grant during that period the controller may on request of the applicant direct that the application shall be post dated to the maximum period of six months from the date of filing of the application so after filing and before grant if the applicant requests the controller to post date that is cancel the first file and then post date the application to a later date then the controller may do so now post dating is the changing the priority date of an application to a later date that is why it is known as post dating if the post dating is allowed after publication the fact of post dating will be published in official journal with the new date of filing in case of convention application convention application shall not be post dated to a date later than the date on which the application could have been made the relevant section is section 136 section 17 subsection 2 when any application or specification or drawing or any related document is required to be amended that is any objection is there or voluntarily any change or amendment is to be done or has been done or when an application or specification drawing or any document is returned to the applicant an applicant then complies with the requirement and refiles on a particular date then controller may direct that application or specification or drawing or document to be deemed to have been made on the date on which it has been refiled or on which date the requirement has been complied. While invoking the above provision, the controller shall direct to republish the application and examine it as fresh application with reference to the date of filing of the specification and documents. We can refer to another section in this context which is section 15. It is very important that an application for a patent may be post dated to a date not later than six months from the date of filing of the application. On a request made by applicant any time before grant of the patent where such request is made before examination of the application it will be allowed and the examination shall be conducted with reference to the date so post dated and if the request is made after issuance of first examination report that is AFR that will be allowed subject to the fresh examination with reference to the date so post dated what will be the date of filing in case of post dating of an application case 1 when applicant files provisional specification and then within 12 months he files complete specification in that case the date of filing of the application is the date of filing the provisional application referred to section 9 1 now in case 2, applicant is filing an application which is complete specification and then requests it to convert to provisional specification within 12 months from the date of filing of the original application. And then within 12 months from the original filing date, he files new complete specification. In this case, the date of filing is regarded as original filing date referred to section 9.3 now case 3 after filing complete specification the applicant cancels the provisional specification and then requests the controller to post date the application to the date of filing of the complete specification in this case date of filing or date of application will be the date on which complete specification has been filed 
refer to section 94 now the six months which has been referred in section 17 1 the period of that six months will be counted from the date of application as stated in case 1 2 or 3 if post dating is allowed after publication of the application the fact of post dating will be published in the official journal with a new date of filing here we show the relevant fee for post dating there is no form for post dating but fee is here as per first schedule under indian patents act 1970 regarding post dating a case law can be mentioned standipack private limited versus oswald trading corp corporation limited Patent could be post dated only to the date of filing the complete specification. In this decision, the court did not take into account the legislative intent behind the introduction of the concept of post dating, where complete specification has not been filed pursuant to the provisional application and where the applicant intends to post date the patent application. Thank you all the viewers for watching the video. Hope you like it. Then please give a like and please share and subscribe the channel Scientelectual. We are providing the necessary informations regarding the rules, sections, case laws and etc. under Indian Patents Act 1970 keeping in mind the Indian Patent Agent exam which is going to be held this year. Thank you once again.